Three, two, one. Okay. Oh no. Whoops. Okay. First three bits encode the packet version. Next three bits encode the packet type ID. Well, I mean. Okay, so I need to go do a thousand. Um, let's do and then I'll do if Okay, no, what I'm going to do is equals decimal to min length four. That's fine. Okay. We now have this. Okay, I, I, this is just me trying to understand what the heck I'm doing. So that's the version. That's the type. That's the first digit. Okay. That's these four digits. I understand. That's these four digits.
is one of two nodes decayed by the bit immediately after the packet header. It's called the link type ID. Totaling the bits of the sub packet header. Okay, so VVV, I have one. Three bits labeled T afterwards are the packet type ID. It's a length of ID in the case of the length of the 15 bit number representing number of bits in the sub packet. So here we have, it counts how many things here. So it means the next 27 bits. Wait, why though? Why is that 27? I understand that it's 11 plus 16, but... Starts with a 1. Oh wait, this is a sub packet. Okay, so it's one one zero. Type that. One hundred it means it's a literal. Yeah, because type four is a literal value. Then this is zero. So one two, four eight. Eight plus two is ten. Okay, and then you look after. Yeah, so that's. If you look at the next 27 bits and say that's our sub packets. So you have 10 and 20. Okay. And we're gonna have with an operator packet. Hexadecimal string that length type ID one that contains three sub packets. So it's type seven. I'm sorry, it's version seven. Type three. Which is an operator, but we don't know what kind. One means that the 11 bits afterwards, remember they represent the total number of subpackets immediately contained by this packet. So you have three subpackets. Okay, next. We have. Yeah, so then we have 101, which is an operator. It's an operator. No, it's not. 101 is a version. 100 is a literal. 0001. Yeah, it's an operator. Yeah, so it's zero one zero. Oh, it's literals are five bits immediately afterwards. So one hundred, which is a literal, five bits. You have a hundred, a hundred, and then five bits subsequently afterwards. And zero zero one, a hundred is literal. Then five afterwards. Perfect. 
parse the hierarchy of the packets, cut the transmission, and add up all the version numbers. Okay. I now understand what I'm doing. So we need to start by saying what our pointer is looking at. I want to start chopping off se uh, separate sections and nesting them individually. Oh god. So let's let's reprocess and make sure that we understand what this question is because this is So first things first, we have 3 bits for version, then three bits for height, And then here we'd say four equals literal. And then we have one bit zero equals next fifteen bits contain totally in bits. If literal, then five bits per number. Else, one bit, zero, 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 total length in bits. One equals next 11 bits, contain total number of sub packets. So, <laughs> okay. We start by finding out the operation. So I'm, I'm going to add an extra column here. So I don't know how we're going to do this but i i'm i'm thinking little by little so first of all version equals mid start number one number characters three equals start number length or no it's start number Number of characters. So you have a bunch of zeros. Yeah, three characters shifted over. Okay. We now have that version number. Next is type. I do the exact same thing. It's gonna be zero zero zero. Next thing. Okay. And now we have identifier. We do the same thing as before. There's ID zero. And now, sorry, I have to do 
if Okay. So subs question mark for for sub packets. Yeah, sub packet. If we equal zero, then we take fifteen. Yeah, ifs. And I could just do left, but I don't care. Then you do the same thing. If it's one, next 11 instead. And then if it equals nothing, then nothing. True, nothing. Now that's, in this case, going to be the total length and bits afterwards. And then this will be value that equals a hundred then mid this and repeat now this is what comes out afterwards we're gonna have a bunch of garbage but now we have this and i can pump out a sub packet and then pump it here So we have this many bits, which equals, uh, just to cure, you know. Whoa, what? So that's wrong. I did just take the 15 bits, right? Yes, yeah, so I said the next 27 bits. 
our sub packets. This is the next 1,350. What would I expect it to be? It should be. Whoops. Eight oh six one. I don't know why that's all. Get rid of these. Okay. Wait, why is that starting with zero zero one? That's wrong. Okay. I go from nine. Minimum length is four. Okay. That's much better. So, this is subpack of one. It takes the next 11, which it did. And we have 53 subpackets to work with. But each subpacket could have subpackets within them. So, now how do I do that? <laughs> yeah, how do I. Whoops, this should be gonna hide. Yeah, how do I do nested sub packets now? The easy way to do it would just be to look at the first packet. Let's remember how many packets deep we are. I could do this manually, but, uh, so I now have this.
this will be the final output value we have if that equals 100 then we do mid this start num length of this plus one else One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we now know this was that version. It is a type zero packet. ID's one. Sub packet is that. It means we know that there's 53 sub packets we're working with. Okay, so we need to nest out one then. I think that's really like the only way to do it is to nest outwards. But there's no way to do this correctly slash adequately. Actually, what if I just come over here and say, this is the next one here. Because no matter what, we're going to be going from a packet directly into another packet, right? do this infinitely, can't I? That's the original packet. And that's what we get in the next packet. That's the substance of that packet. And this says that we have we have three sub packets. I can do this. Yeah, I can literally just do that and bring it right. And this is a literal value. I think I can quite literally just stretch it out all the way over here. Let's only go to like 500 though. About half of what it was before. No, it was less than that, wasn't it? Aha, okay. Uh, it's just those left, yeah. That's fine. Okay. There's a bunch of extra tailing zeros, which is to be expected. And this is all 
dead. But this is still wrong. And so something here is wrong. This interpreter isn't correct somehow. Whoops. Otherwise, it says the number of things we care about, which in this case would be... Um, frig. Oh my gosh, why am I having a brain fart? What do I want to say here? Yeah, it's... Decimal of this, base two, yes. Also, this other one, sh otherwise, it should just start at six, which means that's correct. Probably not going to change anything here. Yeah, so nothing here changed. But I at least know that some of these are wrong now. So, okay. Wait, so it didn't say it was padded with zeros until something? Oh, wait a second. Sorry, that's correct. Slight change in that. Literal value packets encode a single binary number. To do this, the binary number is padded with leading zeros until its length is a multiple of four bits. Ah!
I see what I did wrong. Okay. So my understanding of this question was incorrect. That's fine. Okay. So I have to keep nesting it multiple times. So it's not just four. It's four, then something, then something, then something, then something, then something, then something. Okay, let's actually fix these as well. Because it's row two. Sorry, row three. It's always going to be row three. We don't give a crap about these. These guys are going to be exact numbers. And it's going to make things easier to do it this way. Okay. So. What we need to do is we need to have a list of all of the encoded numbers here. What is this? It's five, fifteen, three. How do I know how many how many padded zeros are at the end? Why? Like Oh So so it doesn't care. Okay, there there, there won't be those. Okay, I understand. Ampersand next to Minus five. It's five plus one.
So that looks right to me. That doesn't feel right. Okay. So the condition... Oh, equals one. But it should equal zero, then it's x, otherwise not. That should do it. Perfect. Okay. And that says, hey, that's nine, and that's done. Otherwise, you put O in front. That way. Perfect. Whoops. So what we do here is instead of six, it is let's just say the hundredth for as it goes. Okay, so it's gonna be equal sum product. So it's sum product.
So the number of those times five plus one. So in this case, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, zero, one, 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 one. Cried, okay. What? 12? Oh, wait a second. Okay, so this works. That's 15. Okay. I can parse this out later. But this should work now. Shrink those to reasonably thin sizes. There we go, and then we get some hundreds, which means these are numbers. Then I'll have to 500, see what happens. Let's even bring it out to 500. Let's bring it to 300 and see what happens. So, we're going to look at the very, very end and see... Let's go to a thousand, sure. Okay, at this point it's exhausted. Cool, so we'll start with this. Bunch of padded zeros at the end. Wait a second, and it ends nicely with a five. This looks correct. I think I did it. Out of all the version numbers, we'll first save. Uh, let's down to here hide well, just in case go all the way down here and delete and then equals version number and we're gonna do 
decimal of that radix is two. We're gonna bring it all the way out. Right to there. Okay, so I did this correctly. Okay, that was not too bad. Honestly, let's... Okay, first of all, I, w I just actually want to go check. This is something I don't usually do because I'm being a little bit greedy today. I really want to see us too. You know what? That's not a terrible, a terrible rank for XL. Okay. Greater than packets, less than packets. Uh, is one of the value. The first sub packet is greater than the value. The second sub packet, otherwise the value is zero. The packets always have exactly two sub packets. Packets with ID type six are less than packets. Their value is one if the value. The first sub packet is less than the value. The second sub packet, otherwise their value is zero. These packets always have exactly two sub packets. So, first things first. We don't care about these anymore. But, type zero. No, let's look. It's a case, or it's a switch. Otherwise, if it's a one, it's a product. Min. We're just gonna call V for down. Then. number yeah okay then it's greater than packets and then one zero one less than packets and then equal to Sorry. And then and then default. Okay. You bring that all the way out. Operation Val question mark. 
we're gonna have yeah there's gonna be Whoops, other way around. Yep, that's fine. So this wants 53 different operators. So, we can do that. But it's a pain. So, what I want to do... Packet will either have a value or an operator with some determiner. So this will have two packets, and it's the sum of this versus the sum of this. Cool. Why is it that? Okay, no, actually, what we're going to do is... Well, first of all, unhide. This is the deepest one so far. Do we go deeper? We do go deeper. We go deeper to here. That's the deepest we go so far. We go one deeper. We go one deeper. We go one deeper. Okay, so the rest of these numbers can be deleted. So what I want to do is equals if mid this number one one equals No, it's if length of that greater than one, mid that start number two, I don't need that. Else. Oops, sorry. Okay, cool. Okay, this is another value which will darken. Cool, okay. That equals...
And then we do base of the number radix two. Exact length is four. Hey, here we go. Concatenate those. Hey, we now have our number. Now I can do uh, decimal that the rate of being two. So this number is two hundred and seventy-three million thousand. Holy balls. Okay. That's fine. Whoa. -oh. Okay. Let's go fix that first. These guys should never be looking at beyond. Not 32. Let's go to row 14. So you only need row 8. Cool. Let's only do row 8 then. There we go. Okay, let me come here. Nothing else changed except this, which I will grab like that. Which I will drag all the way to the left. I know it's gonna take a while. I'm aware. Eight, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just go right there. Screw it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a little broken, but that's not a huge deal because we can just filter for only caring if That number is there. Oh, oh, that's wrong. Here we go. Like that. There we go. Perfect. I mean, just go right there. And now I come here. Hide these lines. And now... If that equals the dollar sign, then this. Otherwise, keep that. Yo, that's dope. Okay. So, <clears throat> now this is... Minimum of how far is the question. Actually, I want to do plus. This is the total so far, which we have to care about. And it is the total that matters. I think I did this correctly. I'm not 100% sure, though. We're about to find out. Yeah, I did. So this is bets. Uh, this is starting... Yeah. So we end on bit 18 there. And then we're going to do distance. And then we're going to start iterating that on. Not sure how, but we're going to do something. Give me a second. I just got a message. I'm just going to quickly check it.
this is actually i'm honestly pretty happy with this so first things first we want to have okay so now i can just hide the rest of this here So, if it's a plus, okay, so what is it? One is total number of sub packets. It would indicate that nicely and smoothly. So, I want to count the number of packets. So, this is going to be Otherwise, that equals one. The number of sub packets that is this. If it's Zero. There we go. Let's see what happens here. Okay, lots of errors. That's not good. Whoops, not minus one. Wait a second. There we go. Okay, this should fix it. That's the number of packets we're going to care about. So 
Let's get another next five packets. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get another next three packets. One, two, three. So we have these guys and these guys and this guy. These guys. And this cares about those guys. isn't it? Because they evaluate differently. Yeah, because zero is bits. But one is number of major packets. tricky how am I gonna do that I have to find a way to be able to group together sub packets sub packets yes yeah, so this case about the next three major sub packets which would just be in this case just those three which is not a problem I can actually handle all of this now, honestly. It's not too long. It's actually long enough that it's a bit of a pain. Hmm. Honestly.
Was that some? Did I actually already screwed up? It was V, so it was a minimum, actually. Oops. Yeah, this is minimum. Wait a second, I got it, 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 I got it. I can use dust, I can use points to distinguish. Whatever's left over must be bigs, so whatever's not left over must be smalls. Okay. No, it's not. So it's a zero. We have zero. And then four. So it's 14. Oops. So this is 42. And 
I go and find where those numbers were first found. We have a five here. That is last with one. Apply the top two numbers. Fifty nine. Two, three, four, five. is false. Didn't know there's another one. No. So then we delete all that and turn that into zero. Ooh, that is just that. The maximum of these is this. Oh, this is sloppy. A minimum of this, this. Is it true that this is greater than this? No, Z so put a zero. That's times, so that becomes a zero. multiply 
multiply x4 together, which is that and all these. So it becomes 0. That's true. Put the next four together, which is that, and these guys, so they're all deleted, they become zero. four numbers together anyway, so it's going to be that, that, and that become a zero. The minimum of those four numbers is this. The sum. Is it true that this is less than this? No. Which means it stays zero coming up to here. Okay, mistake. No, it's not. It's the next eight together. One. So it's just the top two numbers. Yes, that's true. We'll put that together and I get to keep that 220. That number, that number, and that number will all turn into zero. Well, that's true. Which means this is gonna move on through multiplication. That's false. This is multiply the next four numbers together. One, two, three, four, all turn into zero. Makes no difference if it's. Oh no, it's not the next four. Oh no. I see my mistake. I made a mistake in valuing this. Okay. Oh, I know how I can do. Oh, 
but that wouldn't work, would it? Okay, I need to do this all the way from the very bottom, very bottom again. Because I made a mistake. I don't need to care about the ups. Ups means I resolve numbers. If they're not ups... So... No, it's not some. It's min. Of that. not true because it's false the next 10 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all put together so that becomes a zero i have a zero and a four in the chamber right now the maximum of that is 14 the maximum of that is 42 followed by this Well, I mean, it's plus that. Okay, that is less, so it's one. Zero. This. This. the next three. Through all, yeah. is not less than that, so this all turns into zero. That is that. What's the maximum of those, which is that? No in scientific notation, so I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. This is 162. That's all going to turn to a zero by the time I get up there. Good. 
by one, two, three, four. Stays at zero. I remember this time. Yes, it is. One, six, one, zero. So we're multiple, or Something that goes on top here. Everything else is gone. Let's keep going. Let's keep climbing. We're at 150. 787. Zero Which means that says zero. Is twenty less than that? Yes, it is. Multiply that by two twenty. The next multiplication bout. that's that is equal so it's not greater than which means multiplication takes these four things we'll pump out a zero on top okay uh that's true maybe they just keep that number It's false, so that times will be zero. It's false, so that times will be zero. A zero, so we just keep this number. The upper bound of all of those is this number. Sorry, not the upper bound, it's product of those numbers. There we go. Sorry, not upper bound. This is the upper bound of that number. Uh, are these equal to each other? 21, no. So we get a zero. After all that. Are those equal? No. So we times those, we get zero. We get right up to there. Some, some, minimum, maximum. Everything starts resolving. Okay. Are these are there any big numbers there? There's only the yeah, F53 is a big one here, but what's it do? Does the sum of all of them? Yeah. So sum. Product of those. Minimum of those is 
three. Oops. I'm just gonna come over here. I'm just gonna paste this just in case. The next two numbers, so it says here. Whoops. Paste values. Are the next three numbers? The minimum of the next four numbers are just zero. So all that fancy stuff's gone. Three, four, five, six. All that's gone. All that's left is zero. Times the next eight number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All that becomes zero. No, I screwed that all up. And this is why you double check. Okay, first things first. And the other next two numbers is just this. Multiplying the next two numbers gives you that. The minimum of the next two numbers gives you that. Anyways. So nothing happens with that. Equals one. The minimum of those numbers gives you one. <clears throat> then you have one onto the stack. Then you multiply the next eight, which is just the next two. And you have the next nine, which is that, still that. The minimum of the next one major, which is that, okay. Multiply the next eleven, still that, minimum of that, still that. Still that, still that, still that, still that. All that, still that. That's just a big load of bait that does absolutely nothing. That's true. Six. Base values. Multiply the next four numbers together. So it would just be these two, which you get six. So that's a zero. Multiply to keep a zero. That's annoying, but you know, what can you do? So.
I'm just gonna delete that. We're gonna try again. So I can do this all by hand, but I gotta be more intelligent about it. So, <clears throat> first things first, we have to sum these numbers. Gives us six, three, seven, nine. The rest of this is dots. So these, this is not less than this. Therefore, this is a zero. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All this is just redundant to say two ten. So, this is the product of, is this equal to each other? They're not. So this equals zero. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, it's the product of whatever these guys end up being. So, are these equal to each other? No, they're not equal to each other. This guy's equal to 12. That guy's more than 12, which means this ends up being zero. It's value. Uh, multiply the next four numbers. I know I'm hand evaluating because I'm a wuss and this is cheating, but...
but I don't have a way of doing this intuitively right now. And hey, this still counts. Uh, this is a zero, and this takes this and that. Plus them together, so this gives me a zero. Multiply the next four total lines here. That's not greater than that, therefore this all turns into a zero. multiply the next two majors which is this that is less than that so we put this in multiply the next four total lines hey that's nope that's not correct so that's zero Multiply the next one number. Multiply the next two major numbers. So, less than the next pile. So, is this less than this? This equals 18 plus 6 is 24. That is less than 24. So, that's true. And we have 20 underneath it. So, this just gives us 220. Uh, multiply the next two major things, which would be that and this. So, is this less than that? It's not. Which oh, sorry, this and that. So, this gives us zero for the next four digits. Bam, 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 bam. We take these two because they still stay there. minimum of those guys is this product of the next four total one two three four they are equal therefore this but the next total 12 that 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 those numbers multiply together Value. Hey. Multiply the next total four lines. Is that greater? It is. So it's a one six one. How many numbers do I have right now? Let's just check. To give me an idea. I'm gonna get 53 total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Let's write 32 here just for posterity. For the next four total lines, they're not equal, so that gives me zero. For the next two major lines, which would be these, gu uh, these guys, so that's this, that, Fail. The minimum of those two is this. Uh, the product of those three numbers. The maximum of these four numbers is this. The minimum of those is this. Product of the next two majors is okay. Next two majors is this is 21 greater than this. No, it's zero. It's the product of these. This would give you zero. So the next three majors, which is the product of these three. Is 
that. Okay. The next two big numbers is this less than this. No, so that's a zero. This is just that number. That's just that number. Some of the next five. Three, one, two, six. Multiply the next two major, which is, is it true that this is less than that? Yes, it'll give me 59. Whoops. Whoops. We'll sum up those two. Five. The upper of the next three is 42. upper of the next two. Yeah, the upper of the next two. That's 14. Product of the next 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Product of all those together. Some of this, some of this, and that together. Ah. Okay, so this, what's this? Is this greater than this? 14 plus 9 is 23. No, this is smaller, so that's 0. So all that amounts to 0. And the minimum of those is 4. Let's keep going. Whoops. Fifty nine. Oh, whoops. Well, That shouldn't be a zero. That should be nothing. Just do number. Oh, please be right. Oh, I can't believe I actually did it. Let's go. Did it by hand, but it still counts. 